So it's been quite a while since I've done a proper home decor and kitchen haul video and I've accumulated some things over the last three months since we've moved into this home and I wanted to share them with you guys. So go ahead and jump in and getting started. I have some larger items over here to my side that I'm going to share with you. Um, the first thing is this rug. I actually rolled it up and brought it upstairs just to show you guys. But if you watched my entryway uh, video that I posted recently, I redid the entryway downstairs, you'll see this rug in that video. So this is from Ballard Designs. It's a catalog that I received in the mail. I know they have a couple of store locations, uh, primarily on the East Coast or um, the Southeast area of the United States. But um, I ordered this from the Ballard Designs catalog. It's very similar to the Chevron rug that I have in my living space up here. And this is actually the coordinating rug, but it's the runner. So the approximate size of this runner is 8 feet by 3 feet, um, give or take. And um, I'm very happy with it. It's an indoor-outdoor rug, um, but it's very comfy under the foot. It's not as scratchy as you would uh, assume an indoor-outdoor rug may be. So I'm very happy with the quality of this rug, um, and I highly recommend it. So... Uh, with shipping and a coupon code that was on the magazine, I got this for $53. And uh, this is kind of an oatmeal color and gray. And sticking with the entry theme downstairs, I recently bought this magazine rack or bin at TJ Maxx. It's a galvanized metal and it came with like an oatmeal colored, um, you know, little paper tag in the front. I switched that out for a white one because I like the brighter, you know, crisp, clean white color. Um, but this is a galvanized metal, and this was $14.99. And this sits in the entryway. Um, it mainly catches my sunglasses and maybe just a couple other odds and ends. And it fits the space well for what um, I need down there. And I also like the element of the metal, um, just bringing in different textures uh, to the space. So i pick that up. Also, in the entryway downstairs, I got this pillow. This is from Home Goods, and I actually saw the tag on it. So this was $16.99, and I originally purchased this for my master bedroom as the throw pillow. And I like this quality of pillow. It's the kind that you can go like that, and it stays, um, whatever filling it may be. That's what I like. I like pillows that retain their shape or you know, hold the shape that you shape them into. So this is white and gray, and when I started putting together the entryway, I borrowed this pillow from the master bedroom and I put it downstairs in the entry, and now it just kind of works there. So um, that's where it stays, that's where I'm planning on leaving it unless I find a replacement, um, maybe a navy blue and white pillow I'm kind of looking for um, in the same design, maybe the same brand. So I'm keeping my eye out for that, but this is a very nice pillow that I'm happy with. Um, also in the entry, in the closet downstairs, I found this bin at TJ Maxx. This was $14.99, and it's a nice oatmeal color and gray, and then it has embroidered in the front um, storage. And what I keep in here are items like this. So I, you can see in here I have my uh, rain boots, um, I have an extra coat, and then underneath this I have umbrellas, hats and mittens, and things of that nature. And it's nice, it's structured on the top. It's a large bin, especially for the price. And it holds everything, nothing sticks out over the top. Um, so when you open the entry closet door downstairs, it just looks really clean, there's nothing sticking out. So, Coming over to the items that are on the desk. I finally found a jumbo utensil holder. So this is quite a bit larger than a, you know, just your average utensil holder. And as you can see, I have a lot of aqua items in here. Um, just any old utensil holder was not going to do. I wanted to display these eventually, and finally I came across this um, stainless steel one. So this was $12.99, and I found this at Marshall's. And in here, let's see if I can take these out. I have a lot of stuff jammed in here. Um, I did find some new aqua pieces recently, and uh, well the first one is this peeler. I have another peeler that's actually nicer that they made that I use, and then this one I just bought because I 
collect everything that's KitchenAid Aqua. So this is like really the only thing I collect. Um, but I'm totally obsessed with this color. And so I got this swivel peeler. This was $3.99. I also picked up this um, spatula. It's a different shape than they've offered before. And this was also $3.99. And the other new item is a meat tenderizer, which I can promise you I'll never ever use. But I just think it's a really gorgeous piece. And this was $9.99. It just has that really cute rubber handle in there. Okay, moving on. Another item that I picked up at Marshall's the same day I got the utensil was this gold foiled placemat. And it's actually, it says it's vinyl, like on the back, it's just kind of plasticky. But on the front, it's a very pretty print. It's kind of modern. I love the gold to it. So I, I really like that mixed metal look. Um, so I've had this on my dresser upstairs in our bedroom. And this isn't new. Um, this is an aqua pot that I got at Target a few years ago. But um, I just put this plant in here. It's actually my cat's grass. Sometimes she eats it, sometimes she doesn't. But I really like that, you know, just clean kind of grass look to it. So that's it's on my desk. And speaking of desk, um, if you can see down here the white desk that's standing before me, this is new. It's from Ikea and it's called the Best of Burrs. Now they offer this desk in two different sizes. Mine is kind of like the regular size. I think it is 48 inches. Um, but I know that they offer a larger size, and that one is 70 inches, and it's really, really long. Um, love this desk. It's a high-gloss white. It has two drawers in the front. Um, I have these organized, and I will share my desk area with you guys in a, um, another video coming up soon. So I'm very happy with this desk. It was $199. And uh, moving on over here, I have some heirloom pumpkin candles and these are soy candles and of all places I got these at uh, Barnes and Noble so they were on the red dot clearance sale they ended up being I don't know like 75 or 90 percent off they were super duper cheap I want to say they were like a dollar something a piece and normally they were 15.95 so they were marked way down I've been burning this one and it has a really good smell to it when you sniff it, um, but overall it just gives a very subtle scent to the home. It's not comparable to the Slatkin & Company or the Bath & Body Works candles, but I still like them. Um, I would not buy them any more than what I bought them for, but uh, I do enjoy these candles. And I actually picked up three of them. And I like the packaging of these. They're gold, and then they have like a... I don't know, like a cream and a ruster kind of orange color print along the sides. The next two items I'm going to share with you are from the Nate Berkus collection at Target. And this is one of my favorite decorative pieces that I have. I don't know why. I just really like this urchin. And it's called the Brass Urchin, and uh, it's $9.99. And when I was at Target today, they actually still carry this in this color, which would be gold. And they also carry it in a white color now. The other item from the Nate Berkus collection is something that I picked up today on clearance. And this was $22.99. I got it today for $6.88. And this is called the Hex Vase. It says it's aluminum, so it's solid metal. And it's basically the same color as the Urchin. It's a nice... Uh, rectangle shape and a super great price. So I noticed at Target recently that a lot of the Nate Berkus items have been marked down on clearance and uh, they got new items in. So you may want to go ahead and check out your clearance section um, for some of the Nate Berkus items as well as check out some of the new arrivals. And then last but not least is this tote. I got this at Target as well and I'm not sure if they still carry it in stores. Um, they did up until just a couple of weeks ago. It comes in two sizes, and it's a black and white storage bin in a chevron pattern. Um, I know that they also carry this online as well, because I did look for it online. So this is the larger size, and I keep this in my kitchen. Um, so 
just to orient ourselves here, the living room is here. I'm standing in the dining area because the living space here is quite small. And then the kitchen is right over here. So um, this actually sits right behind the camera. Um, I keep chips in this. I, when I bought this, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to use it for, but I have a black and white chevron pillow um, just in front of our fireplace. And I wanted to bring in one more black and white chevron element just to kind of balance those items out. Um, so when I saw this, it was perfect, totally fell in love with it, and it ended up catching our chips and stuff like that. So, But it does work well for that purpose. It's deep enough that I can put quite a few items in here without them kind of sticking out all over the place. And it's got great sturdy handles. And um, that concludes my home decor and kitchen haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.